Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode. Where in this video, we're gonna learn how to run a cron job inside a Docker container. So to begin, let's create a cron job that will print the current date to a log file at every minute. So what I'm gonna do is just paste this job into this file right here called cron tab. So by this here, every minute, as the root user, we're gonna append the date to a file called dash var log cron.log. And one thing to note is that for a cron job to be valid, it requires that each entry ends in a new line character which is why I have this comment down here on its own separate line. Something else that's important to note is that we must include this user field right now here. And in the Docker container, we're gonna be the root user, and this is why we include root right here in the beginning. But now let's create our Docker image, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Docker file, and we're just gonna use Ubuntu as the base image, specifically version 24.04. Now what we're gonna do is just import our cron tab into our Docker image, so, I'm gonna use this command right here. And we're also gonna change its permissions by running this command right here. But so this location right here is very important as cron reads cron tabs placed in this directory. So dash etc, cron.d, and then whatever the cron tab is. Then right here, we make the cron job readable and writable by the owner while it's read only to the group and others. And just as a quick note on some terminology, so every user on the system has their own set of cron jobs and a list of cron jobs for their user or for a user is their cron tab. But next what we need to do is actually install cron. So cron isn't installed on the Ubuntu Docker image by default, so we need to install it in our Docker file. And we can do that by running apt update and then apt install cron. The dash y flag that we provide right here will install it in a non-interactive mode, so we don't have to click yes for other packages, things like that. And now we simply just need to run cron. And the way I'm gonna do that is with the entry point command. So Real quick, we can use entry point or CMD, which are both instructions that are executed when a Docker container is created from an image. However, the instructions applied to CMD can be overwritten, while the instructions supplied to entry point cannot. So we're just gonna be using entry point here. And another thing that's important to note is that we run cron in the foreground with dash F. And this is so the Docker container keeps running while the cron service is running. Also, this means that if the cron service ever stopped, so would the Docker container. Now in one command, I'm gonna build our Docker image, create a container from it, and create our log file. So this log file right here, using a volume. So in here, I'm gonna run docker build to build an image called cron-i, and then when that's completed, we're gonna run, we're gonna use the docker run command to create a cron container from this cron image. And of course, this is a volume to create our cron log, and we'll be able, the reason I'm doing this also is we can see this on the host machine, so we'll be able to see the logs logged out. And actually, before we run this, we should create our cron log file. So let's create the cron log file that this volume will do, or this volume will place our cron log file into our Docker container. But now let's just run this command. Now that we have everything up and running, we should see at every minute the current date logged into here. So now we can see our first one. So right at the minute mark, we can see it logged out. And now before more of these are logged out, I wanna show you something inside the container. So if we go inside our cron, container running a bash shell against it. As we have cron running in the foreground, so say we run service cron status, we can see cron is running. And because we have cron running in the foreground and it's the process that our Docker container is running, if we stop cron, so service cron stop, we can see we've stopped it and the container has exited because cron has finished. We can note that by it saying terminated in the console. But that's all it takes to run a cron job inside a Docker container. Some of the most important things are to remember to have a new line right here and also to specify this user. Um, but besides that, I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. If you enjoyed this video also, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Leave me a good review in the Chrome web store. But besides that, have a good one.